Hey boys and girls, today I'm going to show you how to start your clay houses. You will be getting a slab of clay from me, which is just a flat piece of clay. Um, so you can cut it into whatever shape you want. It will have to fit onto one of these plastic squares or into the blue lid, depending on which container you get. I'm going to use one of these plastic squares. Now just because it has to fit on here doesn't mean it can't slightly go over the edge. Um, so if I was to want a square yard, I can still cut this into a square. Or if I want it to be round, I can use my tool to cut it round. Any wood tool that has a corner on it, you can use for cutting things. So I'm actually going to make it some kind of swirly, organic shape here. So it's not perfectly anything, it's just kind of an organic shape. And then I can test and see, okay, will it fit onto my square? And yes, it does. It hangs over a little bit but I can still pick it up. I have to be able to access the corners um, to pick it up. And then I want you to put your name and class code into the bottom of it. And you can do that with a variety of tools. Um, I recommend just using a toothpick. So I have a container of toothpicks on the clay cart. So you would just carefully write your name and your class code, which would be for and then whatever your class teacher is. And if you mess up, the nice thing about clay is that you can always rub it out. You will have to probably write your name and class code more than one time, um, just because over time it may get smushed and smeared on the bottom. So we'll check it periodically and just make sure that you don't need to rewrite it on there. After you have your yard then we can talk about building up the walls of your house and also keep in mind that your yard needs to be about this thick you don't want super thin yards because then um, when it's dry we need to lift it up to take it to the kiln um, I need to be able to take it off of this plastic thing or out of your blue lid and not break it in half just by picking it up so you want to make sure it's pretty thick so that's good thickness. Now, if you're ready to start building walls or if you mess up the slab that I gave you the first time and you need to roll your own slab, then I'm gonna show you how to do that and then cut out the shapes that you need for your walls. Now you want to kind of mix it a bit if you started from pieces, make sure, make sure that you don't have air bubbles in there. And then press, and I have a rolling pin 